don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Snow Farm New Zealand venue of the Merino Master. I'm here two days before race day checking out the tracks and honestly I'm more like checking out the views. It's so beautiful up here. Another extraordinary place for a ski marathon. So let's go up there and check out the trails. Two local kids just asked me if I'm an Olympian. Uh, well, I guess they did not ask because I ski that well, obviously. But because of my awesome clothing, when you were wondering where you could get this great world number clothing, well, in our web shop, perfect for days like this, right before the marathon, you want to check out the trails. I have this. Uh, cover jacket and cover pants. If you are a World Leopard Master, you could get the World Leopard clothing personalized. You see, Gunnar World Leopard Master number 5181. Same with the hat, with the flag of my home country, Austria. Our clothing is produced in Estonia by uh, Momo. They have their origins in cycling wear. They combine winter sports clothing with cycling wear. For example, on this cover jacket, you have these uh, pockets back there, like you would know it from uh, a cycling dress. You could put in your phone back there, some bars or the camera, for example. So I really like that feature very much. So. Check out our web shop with the World Lopet clothing. You are perfectly dressed for your race day and also for the trainings before. It's Friday one day before the race day and the weather up in the mountains is not very beautiful. So no skiing for me in the snow farm today. I'm doing another activity, a non-snow activity today to check out the mountain range and the area around here. You can see it behind me. We go out to Quad Biking. <laughs> So that was quad biking in Cadrona. It's actually quite next to the snow farm, so not far from the skiing resort where the Marino Master is taking place. So, but quad biking is not the only thing we could do with you, right? No, can you, if you look in the distance, can you see my furry friends down there? Little oh, yeah. woolly mammoths, 10 <laughs> horses as well. So yes, I've been on my quad bike with you guys today and tomorrow I'll be all day in the saddle. That's great. And it's really just on like, it's almost next to the, the crossing where you would go to the snow farm. So you cannot miss That's the place. Right. Right? You go cross country skiing at the top, very top there and horse riding and quad biking all oh, across yeah. these mountain faces just below the snow farm. All right. <laughs> great. Thank you very much for the adventure, for the experience. My pleasure. Hope nice to see to you soon you. again. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the catching fish in the lake and river did not work out. So I am here at another place where I definitely will catch my fish here in New Zealand. It's called Hook uh, Restaurant. It's right here near to Wanaka. And it's the perfect place for a dinner on Friday evening before race day. George, he is my guide. He will guide me to my fish now. And after that, we're gonna cook it and eat it as a pre-race meal. Let's do this. So George, what kind of fish do we catch here? Uh, salmon. Salmon, all right. And are you a fisherman too? Uh, yeah, fly yeah? fishing. Fly fishing? That's quite difficult, isn't it? Uh, yeah, when you started this. All right. And what was your biggest fish you caught so far? Uh, seven kilo salmon. Oh, man. Let's go. How did it look like? 
Good? Yep. All right. Oh, you're having a go at it. What? The bubble went under. Oh. It still came back up. Oh, yeah. It's gone. On. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, nearly. Almost. He might come back. He might come back. Yeah, now we have. Oh, yeah. First fish in New Zealand, on! <laughs> oh, strong! Look at that! There he is! Look at oh. that! Nice one! And they're gonna get smoked, right? Yep. Oh yeah. This uh, one is sushi with this one already. Uh, oh, it looks so good. Yeah. So we have hot smoked salmon and sashimi salmon. Let's try the hot smoke first. Wow, that's just delicious. And that is a shamey one. Mm. Wow, what a great pre-race dinner. Oh guys, look at these views. <laughs> My time here in New Zealand is slowly coming to an end. One night we're here in Queenstown. Awesome mountain range and city my whole adventure going to the kangaroo hopper in australia and one week later to the merino master is coming to an end and i can tell you what a great adventure i only can recommend it do this trip i know it's a little bit more expensive than other world hopper races but it's totally worth it if you have um, this one week between the two races you have good days um, and enough adventures and things to do to experience to check out the two countries it's just totally worth it i'm gonna enjoy my final night here in new zealand in queenstown now let's start in the queenstown ice bar let's go in there hi Hello. awesome i'm actually quite heated up from running but i guess it's cold down there what do you expect me down there so you can expect to see about close to 30 ton of ice downstairs. So it's all handcrafted, made under one month. And this is Queenstown's brand new premium ice bar. So we are the bougie one. Awesome. And yeah, and really top shelf spirits as well. Let's go. So let's nice. Go. <laughs> it's Okay, friends, cheers! Ah, refreshing! 